In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make digital backups of your videos, your DVDs, or your Blu-rays, depending on what you have, and also how to keep them in a video format so you can save them on a hard drive and actually play them together in one place instead of having to fumble through seat my DVDs and discs and things like that. Now, I've been doing this for several years where I make a digital backup of my hard copies just in case something happens because we all know that DVDs get scratched over time. And the best free tool I've ever found is called Make MKV, which I'll get into why this is so good later. But for the most part, now it is really good because it works, first off. And second, it is completely free while it is in beta. And you can get a free key right here from this website where it is actually their forum and they update this every month or so to give you a new key for the beta release and it, it unlocks every feature in the software while it is in beta and it's been in beta since 2010 so I highly doubt that it's going to change anytime soon but it might now if you want to bypass this you can always go and purchase the product I think it's like $50 it's not very much so if you would like to buy it and just bypass all that you can but let's go ahead open up make mkv and see what it looks like so this is make mkv it's going to come up and currently right now i have a disc inside of the computer it is a dvd of charlie brown christmas and i'm going to go ahead click the DVD button you could see that it had selected on there that there was a DVD found and now it's going to go through here it's going to look at all the different sections and it's going to give me a drop down list of all the different sections that it found and what I would like to select so this is why making KV is really nice because unlike most uh, rippers that you're going to see which this is the technical term for it is ripping a DVD or ripping a blu-ray and make MKV comes up with lots of different things that you can look through like for instance this right here is the main movie it has 11 chapters in it it is 2.1 gigs and if you drop this down you can see it has options for the different audio and the different subtitle tracks there are other options outside of that for instance these have one chapter five chapters so on like it, these are probably just added bonuses the one thing that we want to look at is the main movie which is right here and i'm just going to go ahead deselect all this because we don't want all of it and then i'm going to select where i want to save that too so uh d video charlie brown christmas that's fine we can put it there and whenever you're ready you hit make mkv and sure we'll go ahead and make that and it's going to go through this it will take probably well my computer has a really quick blu-ray drive in it i think it's like a 16 speed blu-ray reader I'm not really for sure anyway it'll take uh, a couple minutes to rip each movie but when it gets done you'll have a well, digital copy of that movie that you can play. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this through so we can see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so as you can see right here, it has now completed. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it travels right back to where it was before. So let's go and open up the file, which is right here, and you can see that it's an, it's in an MKV format, which an MKV format is a pretty common format in today's time. It didn't used to be, but now it's, it's pretty common. But the file size on this is 2.12 gigs, which is pretty substantial, especially for a DVD. And if we open it up, it's going to open up in a, uh, well, I have it opening up in VLC, which VLC is a pretty common and free video player. Most things in today's time can actually play MKVs. VC, uh, VLC is a program, like I said, that is free, and it, well, plays pretty much everything you can think of. So why is this great? 
uh, it's great because if you go to the subtitle tracks, you can see it keeps all of them from the DVD. So you can keep it at the English or disable it. You can go to the audio and you can see there's all the audio tracks for it as well. But that's also why it is two gigs in size. If you want to reduce the size and say put it on a jump drive or something that's easier to transport, you need another application which is uh, right here. It's called Handbrake. And this, again, there's other options out there. I prefer this one because it's free. Handbrake is a free, I'm pretty sure it's open source. It might not be open source, but I know it's completely free. Video condenser, converter, it converts things to different formats and compresses it down. So if you take your video, say right here, Charlie Brown Christmas, drop it over here. You can see that it comes up with the video and you go over to video tab we're going to drop the quality of it down to about 23 which is going to reduce it by a lot and then we're going to go over to audio we're going to select what audio we want and we're going to go to subtitles and we're going to let's see we're not going to have the subtitles so foreign audio scan okay yeah that should be it all right and we are going to save this in the same folder that we had before and I'm going to call this a Charlie Brown Christmas DVD rip there we go and let's make the format what we want to output it to we're going to leave it at mp4 you can change that to other stuff but mp4 is going to be the smallest file and once we have that all we have to do is go to start encoding and this is going to take a little bit of time again you don't have to do this I just do this because it makes it a lot easier to store and whenever this gets done you'll see that it reduces the file size by quite a significant amount Okay, so now that is done, let's go ahead. Oh, I forgot to add in the MP4, I believe is what we have it at. Yeah, MP4 at the end of that. So let's go ahead, add that in, dot MP4. Okay, and now we see that if we have the video. It is 34 megabyte, uh, 340 megabytes, which is a lot smaller than two gig. So let's go ahead and view this. And as you can see, And as you can see, it is the same video, same thing. We just don't have all the audio options and soundtracks. And it reduced the size by quite a bit. So yeah, that is how you convert over your videos into a, well, digital backup, which is right here. Or in case you want to have it as a viewable format for you to actually transfer over to hard drives and things like that and watch it on your TV that is how you do that. Okay, thank you all very much. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, give us a like, thumbs up, subscribe to us. Thank you very much. Have a